Hey guys, this is just a quick video um, to help you out with solving equations with two or more add-ins. Um, we're just going to work together on numbers one through three. So we'll start with number one. I'm going to highlight my variables in these problems. Um, I'm going to write these out really quickly. Okay, so number one, we have 8x plus 15 equals 63. So our goal in solving for an equation with a variable is to isolate or get that x all by itself on one side of the equal sign. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look for a term that is not directly connected to that x. And I can see that that positive 15 is not directly connected to the x, so I'm going to separate it by doing its opposite. So I'm going to subtract by 15 on both sides, okay? And that'll take that away. Then I'm going to rewrite my equation. So now I have left 8x equals, sorry, let me do some math work here. We have 13, that's 8. Uh, we have 48. Okay. And now I'm going to look again. Here's my x. How is it being attached to the coefficient? It's doing it by multiplication. So I'm going to do its opposite, which is division. Okay. Then I have x equals 6. It's all by itself. Okay, now looking at number two, I'm actually going to move this over a little bit. Looking at number two, we have 9x min minus 13 equals 23. So again, we are going to try to isolate our variable. We want to get everything away from that x. So what is not directly touching it that we need to move away? It's that negative 13. So we'll do its opposite and add it to the other side of the equation. Then I'll rewrite my problems here. Okay. And again, I'm looking to isolate or get that x all by itself. So 9x is the same as 9 times x. So I'm going to do the opposite of the times part, which is multiplication here. And I will divide it by 9 on both sides. Oops, we don't want red. 9, 9. So then x is now all by itself. And we have its solution. And the final one we're going to look at here, let me move this number three over. We have 135 equals 2x plus 25. Okay. So again, we'll start by, um, I'm going to use a different color here. Oh, that's not the color I wanted. Okay. We're going to highlight this variable. That's what we want to get by itself. So what is di not directly connected to it on that side? Um, we see that there's a positive 25, so we're going to do its opposite and subtract from both sides. Then I'm going to rewrite my problem here. I have 110 equals 2x. Okay. And again, looking at my variable, what is happening to it? What's, what's being stuck to it? It's 2 times x, so I'm going to do the opposite to divided by. So I'll, I'll be doing division here. Okay, so those two, those twos go away. We balance our equation there. And we have x now all by itself. x equals 55. Okay. I really do think, guys, that color coding is the way to go to help you out. Um, if you're struggling to solve these, keeping track of your variable with colors is a great way to go. Um, I hope you have fun doing this. Once you get the hang of it, it's a ton of fun. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to help.